In this video, we're going to walk through how to use the whole diameter function to measure diameter and circularity. First, I'm going to select my whole diameter function. And this can run in two different fashions. One, we could manually draw an approximate circle and the algorithm will search in that area for edges. Or we can enter a nominal diameter size and the algorithm will search the field of view for a hole of that approximate diameter. So we'll go through an example of each. For the first one, let's draw an approximate diameter and click Analyze. And once I click Analyze, the edges are going to snap to the edge of that circle. You can see the output of diameter and circularity. The circularity refers to the radial distance between the blue dot, the innermost point along the edge, and the red dot, the outermost point along the edge. Now let's say we want to run the whole diameter function in an automated way without the user input. If we know our nominal diameter size, then we can do that. So in this case, I'll start with a new whole diameter function. And with the pencil icon, I'll access the advanced settings. And here I'm going to enter my nominal diameter. It's about 9.5 millimeters. And I will set the defaults because I know I'm always going to be looking for this size diameter. And I'll click Analyze. And we can see that function uh, found the diameter and output that and the circularity. Now we do also have an option for the region mode. This is for the algorithm. It'll detect falling edge top or falling edge bottom, depending on what your application is looking for. Couple other tips for using the whole diameter function. We really just need to see the edge of that hole when we're taking a scan. We don't gain anything by pressing the gel harder into that hole where we might not actually see the bottom of anything. Um, all we're doing at that point is just uh, wearing the gel out faster. So just apply enough force to see the outer edge of the hole that you're trying to measure. And one other thing, we do recommend using the image alignment. So that can be enabled on an individual scan basis by clicking this button here. Or it can be enabled before we take our scans by going to Configure, Capture, and checking Auto Align Images. Image alignment will help compensate for any kind of handshaking. And then we can generate our PDF report 